This story is called Sitting in the Park on R and R, Relax and Recreation. Why isn't when a black man rides his bike to the park, finds a spot where he can chill out, underneath a tree or underneath on top, sitting on the bench? Now at the park, more normally and usually there are people picnicking, families with their children in the, in the sand duck house, and squirrels running around with the pigeons. You might have a few ducks or whatever. You whatever it depend on the community you're in. But this type of community that I happen to live in is nothing that hangs out. It's the D-boys and the hoes and the homeless vultures and things of that nature. But yet still, there are folks that are in their own trenches and their dug out in their spot or their corner. But I usually find a spot where I can just chill out by myself by a tree and try to sit back and read the local sports and drink a can of beer. It's dark, it's getting close to 10 o'clock, you got to go. I'm not going to try to live in the park, but they won't bother the homeless person living in the car park because he stinks too bad to get out the park. So then I got to go. I said, I'm not going to move right now because I, I got to pee and I, and I got a bad kidney. So the man going to tell me, he pour my beer out and take my ass up out of the park and I can't make it quick, so I pees on the tree. All of a sudden, he's going to find out that he's going to give me a ticket. The ticket is to add up to $320 because I did drinking in the park before that. Prior to that, that adds up to it. I didn't, I refilled it appear in court so that adds up on you more. Then it come to find out by pissing in the park, that's a warrant right there. Uh, they call that a decent exposure, that that's like a thousand dollar ticket right there. And if you don't go in there, then it adds up and adds up. And all they doing is making money off of that by you not appearing in the court. Because I didn't want to go to court for pissing in the park. Because hey, look, everybody else, today, these dudes getting murder beefs, 187, 211s. Uh, you got drugs on stuff on them. They beating up police, beating up bitches. Stealing cars, carjacking and shit like that. Assault battery on motherfucking bitches. And all of a sudden, I'm going to jail for pissing in the park. I think that's degrading. I mean, they could have tore the ticket up, sent it and hauled me in. So then I got to wait a while. Then they find out that the warrant I got established in Sacramento. That's another $5,000 warrant. So they're going to rush me on in. Not knowing that I got just got my income tax check back. And that's $1,500 because I used to work for the army, the government. So I didn't want to cash that because hey, I couldn't barely pay my rent and my bills. I'm trying to figure out. I try to get my old hoopty fixed. Can't get that fixed. That's why I be riding a bike. But sitting in the park is no joke now. You a black man can have no peace of mind to sit in the park in the ghetto because sometimes he don't want to be at home hearing shit from his bitch and his kids that they get on your nerve because they ain't no good movies on TV no more because you cut the cable off. So otherwise, why you can't sit in the park in peace? So then you got to go to jail for a week because you don't want to pay that bail bondsman that money to get out of jail. So then you got to live in jail for about a week. Sitting in the park, pissing in the park, drinking the beer in the park, all that adds up to the, to the fact that you get time served, but you can do a week in jail. A lot of people can't do that, but that's what our cost to sitting in the park. For a one quiet evening, for less than 15 minutes, you're going to have people rush upon you. That's a sad story about you cannot sit in your own community park. Now, if you've been white, there would nothing ever happen to you.